now they're they're good. This one is a hugger. A big change in both mood and health on display for one of the 32 Great Danes, a long way from how they were first brought into the King William Regional Animal Shelter. They were iffy with us. I mean, just because they were starved and and they all they wanted was food, food, food. They they weren't used to a lot of handling. Some, like this dog, known only as number 25, was in such bad shape that on a health scale that's normally from one to five, scored a negative one. I was afraid that we were going to lose that dog but he turned around in a couple days. The dogs, including 12 puppies, were all taken from this King and Queen County home on August 27th. The Sheriff's Department says five of them were barricaded inside a hot camper covered in feces and urine. They say the rest of the dogs were in the house with very little food and no water. One neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says she knew there were dogs at the home, but not that many. But I never seen them because he don't let them run loose or roam the neighborhood or anything like that. The two owners of the dogs, Richard Olaswix and Candace Sweet, face felony animal cruelty charges, news that stunned their neighbor. They are very fond of, fond of the dogs. I was really surprised and I couldn't believe it. The Sheriff's Department says Olaswix owns 101 Danes and tried to claim that at least two of them were service dogs. A website associated with that name says they are service and therapy dogs. A hearing on September 20th will determine whether the dogs are returned to the couple while the criminal case will happen in November. In the meantime, the dogs will be kept here at the shelter and because of the influx of them, they've actually been closed since the 28th of August and are asking for help to take care of them. Specifically, they're asking for hand towels, bleach and laundry detergent and canned pumpkin, the kind with no spice in it. They've actually set up a specific email that you can send inquiries to to help out. We're going to have that on our website, WTVR.com. And I'd like to stress that because of the ongoing court case, the dogs are not up for adoption. Working for you in King William County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.